Hey there, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. In one of my most recent videos, I talked about uh, one of the things that all the top players had in common, people that improve more, have a tendency to really study the game. And um, after doing that video, I thought about a couple other things. And one of the things you're gonna find with top players is at some point in their life, they were probably immersed totally in table tennis. And uh, you hear stories about players who stayed up till four o'clock in the morning and played all night and um, were playing, training six days a week, had a club where they had access and were able to play on a regular basis or had a, just stumbled upon a really good coach who took them under their wing and uh, maybe it was just uh, three or four years at the right time and but uh, got them to a fairly high level of play and um, never looked back, uh, were able to maintain that and some people went on and did, did even much more. Excuse me right there, oh, that's much better, I guess. Anyway, but um, the point is that pretty much anybody that really got good had what I would call table tennis immersion and the earlier you have it, probably the better. If you were totally immersed in table tennis in the years from uh, 10 to 15, um, you probably were able to acquire some skills there that are gonna be with you for the rest of your life. Now, a lot of my uh, listeners and subscribers are not in that younger age group. They're probably quite a bit older than that and are trying to immerse themselves in it in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And let me just give you two completely differing thoughts. Yes, it is possible to dive all the way into table tennis at that advanced age, which I am a member of that age group as well, but and, and you can uh, have great improvement. Um, I think that for me, coaching has allowed me to keep the racket in my hand on a pretty much daily basis and has allowed me to get certain skills that have gotten very good. Blocking in particular is something that most coaches can do. Um, I had today somebody was talking about that they were probably giving me some good chopping practice because I was back from the table and chopping so they could work on their forehand loop off of chops. And I said, yeah, that's all well and good, except I rarely play that way during a game. Um, I've improved my coaching skills, but not necessarily my playing skills. So I'm not going to turn into a classic chopper or even a uh, modern defender at this point in, in my career. I'm pretty much stuck with the basic style that I have, which by the way is more of a counter driving uh, game. But here's what I wanna say about immersion. You can do it, but for sure, keep it in perspective. I see players that are just driving themselves nuts. I, I play every single day and are, you know, this is, this is what they're saying to themselves. I play all the time and I'm not really getting better as much as I think I, I should. Uh, the improvement will come, but I would probably say that a lot of times the improvement comes when you relax a little bit, let go of those, uh, just say, I'm, I'm gonna play and let, let the chips fall where they will. Either I'm gonna be that 2000 level player or I'm not. I'm gonna strive to do my best, but it's, it's hardly worth driving yourself nuts about. And um, not everybody's gonna be a pro. Not everybody's going to reach that uh, magical 2000 USATT level. There's always room for improvement, um, pretty much whatever level you're at, but I would advise You've got to keep it in perspective, and it, it can. This is a sport that can drive you absolutely nuts because it'll seem like it should be something easy, 
but in fact, like I said in my last video, it, it is a very difficult thing to get to play at a very high level. So while all the best players were immersed in it completely, immersion will, will work. It will help you improve a lot of your game, particularly if you get good coaching and play quality competition. But there's a point where you're, you're doing it too much and you're taking it too seriously and you need to relax get some perspective and uh, let, let go of it a little bit. And you might, might be surprised um, when you do that, you might actually start to improve more than you did when you were uh, obsessing about it. So um, good luck with that. Um, it's just something I feel strongly about. I see it far too often with people that I coach that are um, just going too far with it. But uh, all right. <laughs> Hope to have another great video tomorrow, or at least another good video. All right, see you next time. Thanks.